Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a very informative video for you. In this video, we're going to be diving deep into the world of Subway and exploring the starting pay, the pay scale for various positions, the working hours, and other related topics. So without further ado, let's get started. But first, subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any helpful job finding videos for yourself, your family, and friends. The starting pay at Subway varies depending on the position, your location, and your level of experience. Generally, entry-level positions like a Subway sandwich artist, they start out at the minimum wage in your state or slightly above it. The average hourly wage is approximately $10.55 per hour. Now for the working hours. Full-time employees at Subway typically work around 40 hours per week. However, depending on the needs of the store, this number can fluctuate, especially during peak times or when there's a shortage of staff. Subway is known for being flexible with its employees, so if you have any specific scheduling needs, it's always a good idea to discuss them with your manager. As a part-time employee at Subway, you can expect to earn a similar hourly wage as a full-time employee, but with fewer hours per week, obviously. But as you gain more experience or get promoted, your hourly wage may increase. The number of hours you'll work as a part-time employee at Subway will vary based on your availability and the needs of the store. Typically, part-time employees work anywhere from 10 to 30 hours per week. Subway offers a variety of positions for people with different skill sets and experience levels. Let's take a closer look at some of the most common jobs at Subway and their respective pay scales. Shift leaders at Subway are responsible for overseeing store operations during their shift, including managing the staff, handling customer complaints, and ensuring that the store is clean and well stocked. This is a pretty busy position and the hourly wage for a Subway shift leader is $11.25 an hour. The assistant manager position at Subway requires more responsibility and experience than a shift leader. Assistant managers help oversee store operations, they manage staff, and handle administrative tasks. The average hourly wage for a Subway assistant manager ranges from $11 to $15 per hour, but this can vary depending on factors such as location, experience, and performance. As a Subway manager, you'll be responsible for the overall operations of the store, including hiring, training, and managing staff, as well as ensuring that the store is meeting sales targets and maintaining a high level of customer satisfaction. The average salary for a subway manager ranges from $25,000 to $45,000 per year and up, depending on factors such as location, store size, and experience. Additionally, you might also be eligible for bonuses and other benefits, which can add to your overall compensation. The minimum age to work at Subway is generally 16 years old. However, this can vary depending on the specific location and local labor laws. Some stores might allow younger individuals to work as long as they have a valid work permit, while others might require employees to be at least 18 years old. Subway's drug testing policy, it varies by location as it is up to the discretion of each individual franchise owner. Some Subway locations may require drug tests for employees, while others may not. If this is a concern for you, it's best to ask about the specific drug testing policy at the Subway location where you're applying. Subway does not have a blanket policy against hiring individuals with felony convictions. Each franchise owner has the autonomy to make their own hiring decisions, which means that some locations might be more open to hiring individuals with a criminal record. Either way, it's best to be honest about your past when applying and to discuss any concerns you may have with the hiring manager. Subway employees are required to follow a dress code that promotes a professional and clean appearance. This typically includes a Subway branded shirt or polo, black or khaki pants, and closed toe non-slip shoes. Some Subway locations might also require employees to wear a hat or visor and an apron. If you have any jewelry, it should be minimal, and any visible tattoos or piercings should be discreet and inoffensive. Subway employees are usually paid on a bi-weekly basis, meaning you'll receive a paycheck every two weeks. However, this can vary depending on the specific franchise. 
So it's always best to confirm the pay schedule with your manager or during the hiring process. Does Subway give raises? Yes, of course. Subway does give raises to its employees. The frequency and the amount of a raise can depend on factors such as your job performance, length of employment, and the store's overall performance. It's important to communicate with your manager about your expectations and to demonstrate your value as an employee in order to increase your chances of receiving a raise. Well, there you have it. We hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights into the pay scale and working conditions at Subway. Remember, these figures can vary based on location, experience, and other factors. So always, always double check with your local Subway for the most accurate information. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.